Hello, this is Evan Rogerson, 9 Meter Gang here, and today we're going to go ahead and break down the 1.0 game manual update that just dropped earlier today. As always, I'll have the newer version of the game manual on the left hand side and the older version on the right hand side just to make it really easy to compare the two. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe in order to please the YouTube algorithm, and I'll just be going through in order as they're listed in the change log, not to miss anything. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing here is they changed what the definition of a major violation was. So previously it used to just be intentional violations may also be major violations. Now it's intentional actions that result in violations may also be major violations. So the main thing that comes to mind here is like trapping or pinning or whatever it's currently called. So like previously, if you were pinning somebody and you held them for six seconds, that would be considered an intentional violation. But if you were pinning them up against the wall and say your robot got stuck or something, you could probably argue that you were intentionally pinning them for that amount of time. But now with the newer rules, you could say that it was an intentional action that ended up resulting in the violation. I don't know. It's pretty kind of, they're very, very similar. That's kind of the only example I can think of off the top of my head. I think this is how most referees have been enforcing the rule anyway, but I think this is, it's a perfectly fine change, but it doesn't really need to be there in my opinion. Next up is rule R5. They added rule R5B. The previous B rule got shifted down to C and so on and so forth. Also, I do like the way that they're doing the VEXU rules now instead of that big clunky symbol at the top. They just kind of have the gray box at the bottom that says that the VEXU rules are applied differently. So the main thing here is event partners can construct and or provide any sizing tool to measure the correct dimensions. Now this sucks. So on VEX form, it was pointed out that the current sizing tool only measures in 1.5 inch increments, so it can't even measure the 22 inch increments. And I've gone on multiple long rants about why the 22 inch expansion sucks. I'll have the links to those in the, up in the top right if you're not already aware. But basically, it's impossible to measure, and there are a bunch of loopholes. So it sucks, and it kind of, I don't know, makes it even more stupid now that the regular sizing tool can't even measure 22 inches. And this kind of phrases it really well, I feel like, is... You can ask everyone in the world to compensate and have a round number with a tool that can't provide that number. Or you can require the world to buy a new tool to accommodate that round number, which it looks like this is what the GDC is trying to push, um, trying to get you to buy the new VEX tool that they're planning to come out with. Or you could just have a handful of people in the GDC just change it to 22 inches to 22.5 inches and get rid of the box expansion or whatever and just do point to point expansion. Like... There's absolutely no reason why you have to go through all the effort of designing a new sizing tool, making event partners buy a new sizing tool, put in the burden of responsibility on the event partners. It's already really hard for an event partner to host an event. You don't need to make it, oh, now in addition to that, you have to make a sizing tool because the GDC was stupid and they didn't make a rule that you can easily measure with the current sizing tool. And the GDC was like, this was all yesterday in the update saying that they were going to be fixing the rule, making it easier for event partners to measure. And that's what they come up with. And there's been some conversations on discord, which are actually like currently going on. Let me just check. Yeah. You can see they're like currently going on as I'm recording this video. And basically they're just going to try and design a new sizing tool, which just sucks. Like the current sizing tool works just fine for the most part, other than the fact that you made a stupid rule and now it doesn't work. But if you just made a regular rule, it would work just fine. So kind of mad at the GDC for that one. Next thing moving on is they added the I bullet point to this. So basically it just says that a block is not considered scored if it is taunting a robot at the end of the match. So basically before it was just like, since you were playing for the red alliance for skills and if you're touching a block of your color it doesn't count only the red you could still be touching the blue blocks and they would count for scored but the red ones wouldn't which doesn't really make sense because red and blue blocks play the exact same in skills so now it's just even if you're touching a blue block none of the blocks count as scored if they're touching your robot at the end of the match so that was already in a q a nothing big there next up and they did also change some of the formatting things again i really like the way that they put the gray box down at the bottom that's about the only good thing they did with this update is they went ahead and they added point G saying that you cannot max load blocks and skills, which was already kind of there. And then blocks that leave the field are not returned, which that wasn't already there. So, I mean, I guess good. They fixed what happens if a block goes out of the field and skills, but again, that's not really anything big. And then this one is kind of the stupidest rule in the whole update is head referees must now follow the rules in the game manual and Q and a. So this just wasn't there before. I have a couple of things about that, but basically there's this big long thread on Vex form. You can see that's a whole lot of yapping about how head referees don't actually have to follow the rules. Yap, 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 whatever. Um, but yeah, who's going to give the head referee a violation for not following the rules? It doesn't do anything at all. 
But anyways. Next one, this was already in a Q&A for VexU. Hexagonal stuff is now considered raw stock. So previously it was just like square shafts, but now hex shafts, which I know a lot of first teams use, are now considered legal for VexU. So that's cool, I guess. There's some other VexU things that were changed regarding like custom electronics. Um, if you know what those are, you probably care and have already looked into the Q&As regarding them. And finally, I just wanted to plug, I have a tournament that I'm hosting on July 26th in Kansas. So if you're anywhere in the area, we still have a couple spots signed up. And this event will be live streamed. This is a week before Mall of America. So you probably want to set down your calendar to be able to watch this because I believe it's the first live streamed pushback event. And it's also going to be first pushback event in the U.S. entirely. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Overall, I think that this manual update just kind of sucks. Like, they didn't really address any of the big issues with the game, such as descoring being easier than scoring. They didn't add any possession limit or anything, which I don't necessarily think they needed to add, but it's kind of going to be too late now, because teams are going to be competing at, like, my tournament in Mall of America, putting up skill scores without any possession limit. So if you were to, like, drop the possession limit down to five, that would give a huge advantage to the team that managed to put up skill scores earlier in the season. So kind of too late for them to really mess with that much now. And, like, they didn't fix issues like the expansion being really, really hard to measure. In fact, they just kind of said it's the EP's fault. So, not really a fan of this update. They didn't really change any of the rules. Kind of boring. And, yeah, just kind of an L update. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around for the end. And I will see you in the next one.